Today I want to do a revisit on this Tapel um, Matter smart plug. It didn't work the first time, but I've managed to figure that out. And I'm excited to talk about our new Matter um, interface for the Bulldog Valve robot. Hi, I'm Blake, professional innovator and designer in pursuit of the invisible smart home. Water leak alert. <laughs> Before I get to the configuration for these two uh, Matter devices, I just wanted to give you um, some ideas of why you use Matter and what Matter is um, from a user's perspective. If I decide I like this device because of the price and availability and its uh, features and I want to connect it to my smart things, in this case as a Wi-Fi device, I would first put the TP-Link app on my phone and then I go through the process of connecting it to the, uh, the TP-Link uh, cloud server. And then with the app, I could, you know, control this device. But I don't want to use the TP-Link app. I want it to connect with SmartThings. So I would come after I completed this pairing process, I would tell SmartThings Cloud to talk to the uh, TP-Link cloud, and then it would show up on my SmartThings app. And that's great. But that's a lot of extra work when I don't need all this. If, you know, if this would happen to be a Z-Wave or Zigbee device, it could connect directly to my SmartThings. But perhaps it's not available in Z-Wave or Zigbee, or it's just too expensive. Say this is, uh, you know, $40 in the Z-Wave version, and maybe it's only, uh, you know, $20 in the Wi-Fi version, so I want to save money. So I don't like the idea of having to have a second app. So the Matter eliminates that second app. In the Matter case, if this was a Matter device, I would connect it directly to the uh, through the SmartThings app to the SmartThings cloud, and I wouldn't need the TP-Link app. A couple weeks ago, I tried to get this TP-Link Tapo Matter smart plug working with my SmartThings, and at the time I was disappointed it didn't just pair easily. Of course, there's lots of ways to get this connected through their standard um, Wi-Fi pairing methods, uh, you know, with other Google Home, Amazon Alexa, and I think it works with uh, Smart Life. But I wanted it to work with my uh, Smart Things. And that's really the whole point of Matter is to make things simple, and it works with everything. Well, it wasn't, it didn't work. A lab had one, and they tried it, and they and it worked with their Smart Things. And I think what happened is I got a uh, an update. I had a whole, an older version of the uh, Hale Tech or Smart Things Hub here. And I guess eventually I got my update within the two weeks, and uh, now it's working. So I can only think that it was because of the, uh, the update. So first I'm just going to delete it, and then I'm going to pair it again and show you the, uh, the process. All right, so I've got it plugged in here. And uh, from my previous setup, I have it working. I'm going to click this button so you can see it, hear it click, I think. All right, so now I'm going to delete it, and then I'm going to repair it. Let's see uh, how we get that to happen. All right, so it just took it offline, but it's still there. Let's try deleting it again. Alright, it looks like I kind of had to do that process twice. That might be something they're still sorting out. But anyway, it's gone now. And it's still solid blue. You think it would have, if it was communicating that, it would have been blinking again to show that it's ready to pair. But let's try uh, pairing it again. So I'm going to hold this button down to reset this. I'm not sure how long you're supposed to do this, or even if this is how you're supposed to do it, but let's see what happens. I'm just going to hold it down until it clicks. Alright, it's clicked. And now I can see it's flashing. And it should kind of bounce up on my phone here, because it's going to use Bluetooth to communicate, I think.
All right, I'm trying one more time here. It's asking me to scan for the QR code, so I'll do that. It's found it. It's asking me for an app, Google or TP Link Tapple. I don't want either of those apps. I want the Smart Things app. So it's obviously still a little flaky or something's not right because I've tried uh, twice now and this will be my third try. Although I did get it to work previously off camera. So it does work, but this is not a very comforting process. Okay, gives me the option. It says it's done. Must be to select a hub. I want my Florida hub. I think we're good getting to the screen. That's a good sign. That's what happened before. It says it's registering to uh, my Samsung account. Okay, done. Let's put it in the sunroom and then we can go find it. All right, so there it is. Let's see if it works. All right, you can hear it click off and on. Okay. All right, so it was a bit of an awkward process, but the matter does work. All right, so this is hot off the presses from our lab. They've been uh, designing the new circuit board that goes into the same uh, EVC 200 controller, which is used for the Z-Wave version of the Bulldog. So it's going to look exactly like this and pretty much work the same, except it'll be a matter device instead of a Z-Wave device. And, you know, it won't have the Z-Wave Plus uh, certification. It'll have the, the matter certification. So it's still in development, so the guys at the lab uh, you know, sent me instructions here, and this is the barcode I'm going to use because we don't have it on the product yet. And let's just go through the pairing process and see how it works. All right, so I'm just going to reset the device as per the instructions from my lab. And it should just pop up here now and be in pairing mode. All right, so it popped up, asked me to scan the code. I'm going to use the code the guys uh, gave me. Okay, it's picked up the code. All right, so I don't want it with uh, Google Home. Let's choose another app, Smart Things. Okay, it says it's found it. I'm going to click Done here. Start. Okay, I'm going to choose my Florida hub. Okay, so of course it's not certified yet, and hopefully that process is not too expensive for us. But let's go ahead and continue. It's telling me it's not certified, but asked if I wanted to continue anyway, which I do. All right, so that's a good sign, I think. It's familiar from when we paired the uh, Tapo Smart Matter Smart Plug. All right, so there it is. It's called a Matter device. I could rename that and call it uh, the Bulldog Valve. All right, there it is, the new Bulldog Valve that I can open and close. So you could add that to your automation to shut off the water automatically when there's a leak or however you wanted to control it, schedules and so on. So that's very cool. Hot off the presses, the, uh, the matter version of the, uh, the Bulldog Valve robot. I can see this replacing our Z-Wave uh, version in the future. And it still supports all the same connectors. So this is this looks just like our standard Z-Wave version, except this happens to be Matter. It uses the same connector for power and for the Bulldog. And it also still supports our uh, 2.5 millimeter port for uh, a wired leak sensor, or if you want to put it in uh, 
relay contact mode you could control this with a switch so that's very cool all right so in conclusion um, it seems like matter still has a way to go in terms of products that are, are certified um, in terms of the process um, but I feel like they're going to get there eventually and I think it's a great idea this matter uh, idea it's probably not a good idea for devices that uh, need to be battery powered because it's kind of based on a Wi-Fi standard Wi-Fi type protocol and I'm pretty sure uh, there's uh, not a good way to extend battery life with that type of uh, protocol. Um, but for devices that uh, you know are connected to power, like uh, light switches and and the Bulldog valve is an example, I think it's uh, it's a good idea. Um, the, I'm excited about our new uh, Matter version of this. As I said, I think it's probably going to replace our uh, Z-Wave version. And uh, I, uh, some of the open questions for me are when you delete a device because uh, I know it connects automatically all, to all my other, you know, my Google Home, Amazon, Alexa, and what other other systems that you have uh, powered up, it should connect to those automatically. When I delete it, does the, uh, the smart things where I originally paired it, is that like in charge? So when I delete it from there, does it delete it from everything? Also, does it work locally? If I on disk, if my internet is down and I have automation set up, does it work locally? I think the protocol says it does, but I Maybe in a future video, I'll unplug my router from the internet to see if my local automation still works with, uh, with Matter devices. All right, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and look for my next video. Cheers.